a whole like original like chapter. Yeah. Magnum Rosado. Yeah. 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 It's a new song. Magnum Rosado. Magnum Rosado. Magnum Rosado. By the way, it has crack on. Hi, I'm Mike Nelson. I'm the owner of Leaf and Ale here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm standing with Manny Ferraro from Ashton Cigars. Manny, good morning. Good morning, Michael. How you been having? Uh, how you been uh, doing so far? Good show. Good show. Even though the attendance was lower this year, uh, we have been very fortunate. For two days, we've been consistent, nonstop writing orders. I'm gonna go on record right now. I want to give Ashton a huge, huge shout out and our rep Gus Merkel for uh, taking us to one of the nicest dinners we've uh, ever had in our years at the uh, IPCPR trade show uh, last night with the, the Ashton folks. Was just unbelievable. It was off the hook as usual. Thank you very much. We try to uh, show our appreciation to the retailers and the people that support. Us. You did an excellent job. Thank you again. All right, let's talk about what's new for Ashton this year. we got some new cigar offerings coming out. You tell me a little bit about them. Let's start with uh, La Roma de Cuba, Mia Moore. Mia Moore is an interesting uh, project. Uh, the regular classic line was a, a, uh, a new release last year, and we had worked on that project for well over two years thinking about making that change. With that said, as we started that project, we already were thinking about doing the Mia Moore. Our goal was to capture market share with a uh, with with the La Roma by having three diverse lines. Obviously, the classic, which is bold, the medium bodied, a little spicier, and the double E, which is more sophisticated, like our Ashton cabinet. I always joke about. It, I said it's an Ashton cabinet on steroids. But the truth of the matter is, to finish the project, we needed something that was different. However, controversial. Mexican rapper has uh, forget Mexican rapper. Mexican tobacco sometimes gets gets bad rap. Right. But what's sad about it, and, and I think it insult to injury is now the political situation and and the Arizona the things that are going in Arizona. I think it hurts the Mexican image. Well, first of all, Mexico is a beautiful country. They're beautiful people. It is what it is, you know. So you decide to do this project, and you go. It doesn't matter. Mexico grows great tobacco. The difference is a lot of the stuff that you see with Mexican tobacco is broadleaf. This is a hybrid Cuban seed, top fifth or it's like a, about a fifth or sixth priming on top of the plant, like a number one classification leaf. So it's a top graded leaf. Very silky to the touch. But the interesting thing about this is the complexity of it. In fact, we have a display behind us which shows our pairings for promoting this. We're doing Zaya rum with lemon and lime, coconut, chocolate, and almond. A, a, a chocolate, uh, a chocolate lover's uh, a dream, so to speak. In fact, my my best friend is a um, gastroenterologist, and he smoked this uh, the prototype, and he said it's like smoking a dessert. He says, "Why don't you just call it Almond Joy?" I said, first of all, I don't think it's a good name for a cigar, and we would get sued." <laughs> but the the fact of the matter, Michael, is it really finishes the pro the uh, the. Um, La Roma project. It is, I think, it's one of the most unique cigars Pepin makes because most of his profile starts out peppery. This has no, absolutely, no pepper at all in it. More of a current sweet start to it, and it gets toasty and it finishes with that beautiful Saint Crisp, the Saint Crispel now type chocolate finish instead of the uh, La Roma. You're obviously very excited about uh, La Roma de Cuba, me and more. Uh, more with Manny Ferraro coming up in part two right after this. You deserve the best, Reef and Ale.